Okay, so um, I'm going to share, let's go back, share my screen. Um, this is where I stopped the other time. My stream should come up soon. In the next 10 minutes, this will, will be done. Um, thank you for your patience. I'm literally going to, uh, you already have a GitHub profile now. So it's just to go to your GitHub profile. Just, how do you do that? Go to github.com and sign in. If you have logged in with your details, it's going to be like this. I joined 24 minutes ago. It's my profile. I can edit my profile. And I have no activities. Maybe I'm pulling or either pulling or, or committing, you know, any activity here. That is why all this roadmap everywhere is blank. Uh, if I've been repeatedly committing my work, committing means you are pushing updates or you are pulling or pushing updates to your code repository. Repository is just like a package or a place where you put your project. As you can see, we have project, but we have repo. Repo is where you put your codes and other information about a particular topic on a single subject. For example, if you work on COVID-19 dashboard, you can create a repository for that, where the data will be there, the dashboard will be there, other readme file will be there. That is it. But for today, we want to create a simple profile about you. And that profile should speak a lot. And how do you do that? So remember, my name is Capacity NG. And what if I go to my GitHub profile for us to show you guys? Let me sign out here and sign in in my personal GitHub account so that I can see what I'm talking about. Sign in here. My GitHub is the only book. It does it. And mine. Okay, so right here, I'm here. But even if I sign out, I think that is where I should go to, um, github.com slash the You can see right now, I'm going to my profile. My profile is github.com slash the If I want to go to capacity ng, just to go to capacity ng, it already exists. When I go there, this is what you can see. I've not signed in, I didn't sign up. Anybody can see this. So this is the public profile that they will see about me. Really nothing interesting here. What if I go to my own personal, my profile? Yes, my profile. Oh, I think there's a bit of something interesting here, which you can see. Um, yeah, you can see about me here. You can see a few more things about myself. Welcome to my GitHub profile page. See my picture. You see something about me. You see the link to join. You see the languages and tools that I use. I uh, see my status, contribution streaks, see most languages that I use, some link to videos on my YouTube channel. You know, you will see a recent tweet from my Twitter. And you can then see my pinned repository that I want people to see. And they are here. Those public you can see my contribution in the last three, in the last one year. Those places where I made contribution, you can see them, they are right there. There are more here. The day, and the month is just there to show. All right. So what we're trying to do right now is yours. So how do you create such a public profile like this? It doesn't have to be this beautiful for now. Doesn't have to. But one thing you can do is first have whatsoever message. Let it be your hello word. Welcome to my GitHub profile page. As simple as that is. You can share that and thereafter we continue to build up on it. So how do we then create something like this? Here is the capacity ng. I can go ahead and create a new repository. I'm um, saying new. I click on repository and I'm here saying new. Anytime you create a repository that have the same name as your profile name, it automatically make it your profile page. For example, capacity ng. The moment is the same thing. It matches with my owner, which is my username. You can see right there. He said, this is a special repository that you can use to add a read.readme.md dot, read to your GitHub profile. Make sure it is public and initialize it with a readme to get started. So make it public for you to be able to add it to your profile. Make it public. Then make sure you say add a readme. Do this check. Add a readme. Um, the licensing topic is there's really no licenses. If it's into, uh, maybe it's a project and um, has a particular license like MIT and the rest of that, you can then 
check the license that is applicable to that particular uh, repository, but there's really nothing. And you go ahead and create repository. So what happened here is this, is saying this guy will appear on my public profile. He's asking me visit profile. So <laughs> I already have something that say I there, you know, and a hand here. As simple as it is, if I go to visit profile, what will I get from here? Awesome. Here I have, I've clicked on it, you can see, all I see here is just I there and a hand that is clapping. Maybe it's waving. And other things are these ones. You can easily edit. You can see the button is here for you to edit, to say click on edit. Then this is what makes for that I there. These are the code. So what you can see right here is called Markdown. So Markdown is a way to write, it's not a code, it's a high level, very close to English language. And this is a template that you can easily use. Idea, other areas here has been commented. So this guy is a comment. If I remove this and come down here and remove this and view and preview rather, you will see this is what we have now. So this is a template you can use to build yourself. As simple as this is, go back and then edit. I'm currently working on, what are you working on? You can say either working on, current working on building my technical skill in if you're in data analysis track, put it data analysis track. In data analysis, if you're in Power Platform, put data Power Platform. If you're in data science and machine learning, put data science and machine learning. I'm currently learning, what are you learning? Learning, I'm currently involved or learning what? Data analysis in the NG 30 days of learning. I'm looking to collaborate on share what on everything data analysis on everything data analysis and project could be that I'm looking for help with what what could be your help help with breaking down um, technical concept that could be what you're looking for help with people see that ask me about my learning journey. How to reach me? Oh, very easy. HTTP.ms, uh, HTTP, uh, HTTPS, you know, this. Um, just go to Twitter. You can put your LinkedIn ID there, twitter.com slash the invoke. That's my own Twitter name. Uh, pronoun, mine is E, M, you know, is. Um, if you are not, if you don't need that on your profile, just take this out. Fun fact about me. Um, actually, I've been to Paris just once. Well, that maybe that's not fun fact, but feel free to just put something as simple as this. Yes, it is. This could be your first profile. The next question, how do I add my profile picture? We'll, we'll share with you link or articles that will guide you through others. But this is very significant. If you can do this, then you've done the first thing. You are not done. The next is to commit it. So you can say mine, put the name, what is the name, my first GitHub profile. So commit is saving, just the way you want to save because it's your personal repository now. Um, if it is someone else's project that you are contributing to, when you commit, you are submitting your work, someone still needs to approve it. But because this is yours, you are the primary owner, the moment you click on commit changes, while it's to direct me, it's going to save automatically. It commits. So right now you can add any description. I'm not going to add anything. I've just clicked on commit changes. It's saving, then it's done. So going back to the other screen here, if I go to this same capacity NG, it's no longer that blank. I there, capacity NG, oh, that, that text, I can take out the text. As we are saving, as we are committing, is working. So coming back here, and um, where is it? Uh, the code. Yeah. Oh, because I've committed it, so it's saved. I can click on this edit button and go back here and remove this guy that is saying, yep. And then commit again. The reason why you had description 
and tied to your commit is to um, is to be able to tell exactly what you do at that point. You know, what were you trying to do? I was updating or I removed the in the description there or I have to this whatsoever the intent of the update you make you can put it there in the description but I'm not going to add anything I'm just going to click on save so it's done now if I go back to my public profile and refresh now you see that thing is off what we want you to do is after this just as it is copy you know github.com slash your username go to twitter and tweet about it and use the ng uh the hashtag ng 30 days of learning so that is the hashtag we want you to use, hashtag NG30 days of learning. Think we're done? Um, yes, there are more to building your profile to be strong. We'll share that with you. But the very first baby step, which you see today, I did not write any code, is going to that GitHub, you know, create a new repository, name it the same thing with your username, then edit. One more thing you need to understand is if you name yours capacity NG and I've shared with people, if you go back and rename and change your username, those people will not have access to it. It will not update. So that is why it's good to choose a profile name that sort of resonates with you um, and not just something for fancy, something that resonates with you and your name and the rest. OK, so we're done. Can we take one or two questions about this session and before we then call it a day? Yeah, great. Thank you very much, um, Olara Wanju. Uh, I'm sure. Sure, everybody is very excited for what we have is about what we have in store for them. This is just the beginning. There are tons of other stuff we'll have for you all. I can see Chidozie's hand is up. Um, I'll be giving you access now so you can meet and ask your question. Um, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. So, um, yeah, I'm Yes. What if I'm a fresh graduate and I really have um, interest in learning and I, I don't have access to um, the student um, Microsoft account because I'm fresh and I really have interest in learning. And in fact, I've on my own learned how to use the XQL and a bit of the advanced Excel. And I'm currently even taking a Google course on Coursera to like help me like my knowledge. So that's what I was asked. Like, what if, is it possible I can still learn like this? Um, as a thing, actually, um, this program is for students. So there are professional and early, you are early career starter now. There are professionals and early career starters that we grab for the program for them and can link you to David Abu and, um, and share the ongoing Azure Data Tom, which is a company, is a learning class key challenge that enables professionals to build their career in data-related roles, data science, database administrator, and the rest of that, who will share that details with you. Um, and so that is what I can say for now. The focus is actually active students. Uh, okay, thank you. I appreciate anything. Okay, great. Um, so Michael, I can see your hand is next. I think you asked a question before. So to be fair, I think I'll give the um, opportunity to share so that yeah, he so, could... so Michael can rather send his question or comment as a chat. Yes. Um, so share you can meet now. Hello, good evening, sir. Can you hear me, sir? Yes, loud and clear. Yeah, yes, sir. Thanks a lot for this opportunity. Really appreciate it. Um, yes, sir. Please, I'm very sorry. I went to mosque, so I couldn't join early. So I don't know if you, know, you could always help us record this session. Maybe every 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 meeting we have, we can have a recorded session of the meeting, so we can always go through it again and again. Now I'm putting. Yeah, um... so, so, so I apologize. I apologize that it falls during that period. I is an oversight. I've made sure that every other engagement do not fall um, either any time that the Muslim brothers and sisters are having their prayer. For example, on Fridays, we've, we've made sure that none of those programs will fall anything by one to two. That's prayer time and the committing time. We've excluded that. Uh, this particular one is an oversight. Um, so, um, 
um, yes, this session is recorded and we will edit this recording so that we can cut exactly those sessions that do the walkthrough and can be part of those work. And then we will upload them on our Imagine Cup YouTube channel and you can stream them from there anytime. So that is exactly what we do. Thank you. Thanks a lot, sir. Great. So next, I'll be passing it on to Lukman. If you can unmute now and ask a question. Yeah, good evening. Yeah, I just want to make inquiries. Some of us in our schools, we do not even have ID card. Like some new students don't have ID card yet. They don't have means of identification. And we need a proof to get to open our GitHub account officially. What do we do about that? Okay, so um, again, please leverage on us. On that Discord, these are topics that should not sit with you. From tonight now, let those things keep coming until your issue is resolved. So I believe you should also have admission letter if you okay, don't yeah. have ID card. Do you? Yeah, we do. If you have admission letter, be it hard copy, be it soft copy, or a PDF, uh, you know, have that PDF, and it's something that you can actually upload as evidence that you're a student. Thank you. Great. Um, we I, have two minutes to go, Jafflet. Be mindful of the time. Okay, okay. Um, so I think for the other questions, we could. Okay, let's take a deep audio lastly. I'm just yes, and after that, you can continue these questions on our Discord channel. Please feel free to keep asking, they will be there to continuously answer you. Yeah, um, I think you over to you now. Please be quick with the question. Um, you can unmute some. Yeah. So since he can't, uh, um, thanks again, everybody, for joining. Yeah. Do you want to say something that I want you? No, no. We're just. Oh, oh okay, we're just great. like okay. Maybe we can move on from you know from there. Yeah. So thanks again, everybody, for joining this call. It's going to be an amazing 30 days program. We have a lot of things packed for you all. At any point in time, if you need some help, if you need some support, please be sure to reach out to any of us and we'll be there to help you. You have tons of people who are here to support you. And please dedicate your time into this. At the end of it, you have um, access to um, writing the Microsoft exam for free, which Olari Wanjo has mentioned. Most importantly, you have access to all of us who will be guiding you through this journey. And there are tons of other things which you'll get to learn about later in the program, which we'll be sharing with you. So please take this seriously, utilize this opportunity. Hope to see you all on future calls. Tomorrow, we'll be having a call which will guide you through creating your Microsoft 365 developer account. So please be sure to join that. That will be for now from four o'clock till five we would see how we can um, for those who are having prayers and other activities we would see the possibility of moving it but if it's not possible to move it um, we would make the recording available to everybody so they can get back to it and also benefit from the classes on our end do have a good night rest Keep the questions coming and um, hope to see you all at team as the weeks go by. Goodbye, everyone. Yeah, bye. Thanks. Bye.